I'm here. It's like I never left. But this time, there's two babies and a C-section. C-session. C-session, C-section. Something like that. So, for those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Idalisa. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. As you can see by the title of the video, is a face and a name reveal of a baby number two but before we get into the video i wanted to explain why it took me a whole month for me to actually like show his face and like um review his name etc for those of you that don't know i had an an emergency c-session because i was dilating and um yeah that's the point i had a c-section right so because the baby was already too stressed when he was coming when they were taking him out when he was coming out however you say that he inhaled some of the uh, amino acid fluid and that made the baby um have some infection in his lungs and due to that, he was in the NICU for two weeks. And because he was in the NICU for two weeks and because they took him to the NICU, I didn't have a chance to like have him for myself. I didn't, I was never, never alone with him. Like I didn't did the skin to skin. I didn't have him in my room for at least like one day, like none at all. So because of this reason, it was emotionally draining for me when people asked me like, cause I posted TikToks, of course, me in the hospital um, before the delivery and all that stuff. And people was asking me like, oh, how are you doing? How's the baby? And it was mentally and physically because of the C-section, 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 I don't know if I'm saying it right, draining for me. It was really hard for me. It was emotionally hard for me and I'm, to this day, it's like I'm afraid of any and every little thing that has to do with him because of what he went through. Because it's like, you don't get to feel how I was feeling, of course, until you go through it. Like everything in life. But it's like, I took all this time for myself with him. Like, I was like, no. Before I show the world, before I, like, he's put out there i wanted him for me for myself because i didn't have him for me you know what i'm trying to say like i didn't get to um experience what i experienced with scarlet you know like this this birth was totally the opposite as the one i had with scarlet for those of you that don't know i have a five-year-old daughter it's like i got to live like totally both births on the opposite side it was like the first one was super nice super smooth everything was unplanned and it was great and you know what i mean the birth was awesome but this one was the total opposite it was the most stressing the most difficult emotionally physically draining and it was a lot which i don't talk about that like with nobody because i make myself believe that i'm strong and that i could go through anything without the help of nobody um but that's just me so um you know it was like really it was it was a really i would say not negative but it it did affect me really really bad you know like i was going through it i was i was really going through it having to go to the hospital daily to go see the baby and and not knowing if the next day they were going to tell me a positive thing or a negative thing which every time i went like they would tell me like oh no we have to leave the baby in the NICU a little a little longer because his oxygen levels they weren't as high as the other babies or as high as a regular normal healthy baby will be at so you know it was like it was this thing where it was like I didn't know if I was supposed to be happy or if I was supposed to be sad so it was just like I just I just wanted to take time like for myself you know like to understand what I was going through to process what I was going to but 
it was like nobody knows that I was going through these things. So it's like I kind of understand why everybody was asking like, oh, you know, like, where's the baby? When are you going to show the baby? This is on the third. And even like, I even posted it on Instagram, like, oh, face reveal tomorrow, whatever. Like, but it's like, I was, till right now, it's like, I'm afraid of showing him because I'm like, I feel like I haven't had enough time with him. But then I'm like, it's been a whole month. And I wish I could show how cute and how chubby he is and and how grumpy he is. But then it's like something in me is like, oh, but what if something happens? But since I'm in a journey to understand my emotions and to process better what I'm feeling and and just, you know, like just process things different. I cannot live my whole life with the what ifs. So I wanted you guys to understand why I took so long again because it's like nobody knows and it's like i did want to make a video of like oh what happened in the NICU why the baby was in the NICU but it's like i i'm still sensitive with that topic mm. you know what i mean like if you're a mom you understand what i'm trying to say but it's like i feel like as of right now I don't feel comfortable and I feel like this video is supposed to be something cute, something happy, something really pretty, introducing my baby, his name and, and everything. So without further ado, let's show the baby and, and, and let's review his name. So um, I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys um, like this video. So without further ado, let's show the baby. So guys, this is, he's half awake. I'm going to tell you his name and why we chose his name. Because this was a dilemma. This was a huge dilemma. Um, uh, I'm kind of nervous about it. You sleepy, Papa? Papa sleepy. Yes, Mr. Grumpy sleepy. So, his name is Austin Nathan Bravo. Yes, his name is Mr. Austin. Well, that's what I call him, Mr. Austin. Um, we chose, well, not we, I chose Austin and his daddy, Patrick, chose Nathan. And this was a huge dilemma because the deal we made when I gave birth to Scarlett was that if we ever had a boy, I get to choose his name. And if we get another girl, he was going to choose the girl's name as he did with Scarlett. So I chose Austin because I wanted a name that the four of us couldn't relate to. Same as Scarlett. We chose Scarlett because I didn't want a name that goes or rhymes with my name or a name that rhymes with his name. So I was like, I want to do the same thing with him. Like, I don't want a name that isn't our family, that our family members have it. So I was like, Austin. Austin is the only name that didn't rhyme with none of our um, uh, family at all. But then, oh, and I actually got this name from Arcangel. You, you know who is Arcangel. And for those of you that don't know, that's a reggaetonero. Um, he's an artist. Um, and his actual name is Austin. And I like, like, he's, he's, he's not my favorite artist, but he's, like, one of the, like, five tops in my list. And I heard his name, and I really liked his name. I was like, oh, my God, if one day I ever have a boy, that's going to be his name. So I finally had my boy. And I was like, yeah, I want Austin as a name for my kid. But then Patrick was like, no, I don't want to name him Austin because everybody's going to be, well, you know, I'm Hispanic. So we bully our names. That's normal in my family. <laughs> so Patrick was like, no, they're going to be like Austin, Texas, Texas is in Austin, whatever, Austin, whatever, whatever. I'm like, dude, they're going to bully him regardless of what name we, we named him. So I want to name him Austin. So... The deal we made was that since he didn't like the the name I chose and I did not like the name he chose, um, he was gonna I was gonna be able to choose the first name since he's a boy and that's the meal we that's the deal we made, and he's gonna have 
the second name as an option now we wasn't gonna put no um second name on our second new our second newborn our second baby because scarlett's name is already long and every time we have to write scarlett's name is the longest but we were like no 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 let's keep the tradition he has two names i have two names scarlett has two names let's give him two names so the name he chose was nathan and he chose nathan and it was because what was the reason i don't even remember the reason <laughs> dude we're just naming our kids like random names without a purpose <laughs> so we name it nathan because patrick chose it i don't know what was the reason of why he chose nathan but he really loved the name nathan on the third day that we were in the hospital that's where they were like okay you, we need a name because we need all the information for the birth certificate and the social and yada 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 so that's the name we chose yes that's the name we chose and even though <laughs> my mom she cannot pronounce it too good still it was the same thing with scarlet a lot of our, of our family didn't know how to pronounce her name because they think it's escarlet in spanish but i'm like no scarlet scarlet like with the c like with with no not with the c with an s like get us together people but we're just gonna give them time we're just gonna give them time now he fall asleep because i talk too much he has to wake up because hello but now time for the face reveal ah, i don't want to show i think you can already see him i don't want to show him okay this is baby austin he's huge and he's heavy so don't mind me that's baby austin wake up papa Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Grumpy. He's not waking up. He's not waking up. It's like once he eats, that's it. You're not going to see him awake. You're not going to see him crying. You're not going to see him doing nothing. He's going to sleep. He respects his sleep. So, yes. And the nickname I have for him is Mr. Grumpy. Because ever since he was born, um, he gets what he wants. Even the nurses in the NIC, you said that. He gets what he wants when he asks for it. So, and I used to call him that, like, every time I, I want to see him in the NICU, he would always, like, be crying. And then when I went and touched him, like, he was super calm. So, um, that's the name I gave him, Mr. Grumpy. That's his name, Mr. Grumpy. He was born on September 5th. I get confused. And let me like, oh, my God, what type of mom you are? No, I get confused. It was because I got to the hospital for an induction on the 4th. And I didn't give birth until 4.50 past midnight. You know what I'm trying to say? 4.50, like already the 5th. So I get it confused. But September 7th. 7? My memory. Memory problems. September 4th. I'm showing him like if I, like if he was my, my, my. Oh, we look so cute. Mm -hmm. Thumbnail. Why always the Scarlet shows me show me that post, but um, yes, and he was eight pounds and thirteen ounces when he was born. Right now, right now, um, well, not a month later, cause, well, yeah, a month. A month later, he's twelve pounds. I have a chubby baby that loves to eat. Yes, guys. So that's. That's it. Oh, and I'm going to insert the little mini photo shoot I did for him because he was, he was looking so cute. He's always like this. I'm like, can you wake up and play with me already? He doesn't. He, he He's really grumpy. He doesn't smile much. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah. And I don't, in this video, I don't want to include, like, every little detail, like, of the birth and, um why he wasn't the NICU like I don't want to give too much details because again I don't feel like I'm ready for that so this video is going to be super short Mr. Grumpy Mr. Grumpy he's so grumpy and he's so chubby he's so chubby <laughs> but um yes I don't want to give too much details because as I said in the intro <laughs> I'm still not ready to talk about that without crying. 
so um i feel like we're gonna leave this video to here because i don't want to talk too much i don't want to i even look crazy yeah and i'm so sorry that i took forever but again i gave you guys my my reasons on, on why i took forever i hope you understand and this is it for the video thanks so much for watching and now time to post my baby everywhere because i'm so i'm excited to look he's already turning red <laughs> i'm proud to show my what i did but yes guys thanks so much for watching thanks for being here so much if you're new here subscribe to my channel go to my instagram add me on insta and um yes guys um i don't know what else to say because i'm nervous so let's leave the video here yes papa my poor papa he's knocked out so bye bye